Miss Marge. Another letter has arrived for you. A Miss Marge. Mrs. Kirk, the money order is on the kitchen table. Thank you, Professor. Christopher Columbus, another publisher. Another protection? I have no idea. I do not read your letters, but they keep arriving and I keep bringing them to you. We all keep hoping for your success, Miss Marge. The entire boarding house keeps hoping. You have us all on edge. My dear Miss March, I've read your story. Well, he's read it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I find your tale tasteless and vulgar. Not at all suitable for my readers. My advice to you. My advice to you is to return home and have babies. <laughs> this is what women and for. Sincerely, F. Putnam. 22. 22. 22 rejections since I've been in New York. They all say the same thing. Go home. Give up. F. Putnam is an idiot. His words are stupid. F. Putnam is one of the most powerful publishers in this city. You cannot lose faith, Miss Marsh. There will be someone who will like your stories. I am certain of them. Uh, Professor Bear, would it be the right if I read my story to you? I will so respect your opinion. Yes, of course. <laughs> Actually, it's one of my best. It's a mean and stormy night. The moors are bleak and bloody. Such as this. I will go to dinner now. 
Miss March, since you have been here, six weeks has it, you shout, you rant, you upset the whole order of this boarding house. I am a serene and peaceful man. You're aloof, you're arrogant! Arrogant? Miss March! I have spoken my mind as you have spoken yours. Obviously, it wasn't appreciated on either side. 